See when these fucking rappers talk about whipping it in the kitchen? If you can't fucking make risotto, you can't make a good piece of crack. I'm just a regular dude. I need to tell who I'm, I'm this person. I'm just me. Just burn the rice. <laughs> there you go. Burned it. <laughs> Come on, let me yeah, do this. I got, I got, I let me got do this. Stuff. You want to do it? I got you. You want to show us how to make a risotto? I got you. <laughs> Chef before everything. Well, I've been a fat child my entire life. My grandmother always fed me well. When I was growing up, we didn't eat outside, you know? My grandmother would make three meals a day inside make bread every day. So, just watching her. Father owned a restaurant. Just, you know, ran around like a fucking little rug rat like everyone else. Just was a bad little kid. Always funny, always joking and shit. Always had the cute little cheeks that everyone pinched. Um, just a normal life, you know? Nothing crazy. Just a normal, normal life. I'd go into the kitchen and the chef was Ecuadorian and he would always make me laugh and like do funny little things like he'd be chopping the parsley up and he'd be like because it tasted not a one of the saying in his little accent it was fun it was it was a cool place for me it was like whoa my father this is my father's place and everyone's here and people are doing things and it was it was exciting. I mean, of course I got in trouble. I remember walking around my neighborhood blasting NWA in my little radio, nine years old, and you know, the people from the neighborhood called my father and my father beat the shit out of me and he broke the tapes and threw everything out the window. No. My mother got me the same shit the next day. Yeah, hell yeah. My father would do, he would act up, but you know, he wasn't always there. So, right after he leaves, my mother would go. She'd take care of me. Bronsolino, fuck that sitting down rap type shit. It's beautiful. I stand up because I'm a motherfucking man. And I'm motherfucking hot, yeah. Keep it. I'm on the third floor. You like your stuff of your life? Is it a good one? Tell me the truth, man. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I would never lie to you. Good. <laughs> Am I skinny? I don't know. There you go. That's my man. You want to fill the entire plate? Yes. It should be out. And then, what you want to do is go, is go like this, so you can see that it's moving, right? Mm. Ginger ale and hot sauce, two things I live by. I'm such a chill guy, but fuck a little bit. Margot's salt on top of the marrow. Mm. That's perfect. There you go. Those big pieces are perfect. Thank you, dog. Say cheese. Cheese. It's <laughs> fucking beautiful. And yes, I'm smoking all the reefer, the night creeper. I love the pussy really tight, that's where the light sees her. Can it be that I'm the Come on. <laughs> I made a perfect risotto. <laughs> wow. This is fucking crazy. This is crazy, man. I mean, it's perfect. I could eat this every day. That's so good, man. Fuck, that's good. Some of my favorite things in the world. Sweetbreads and lamb and baby veal brain. That's what I need to maintain. Kill the queens is on the rise, so understand me. Ain't never stop until there's a grand. Flour, egg, bread, fry them. Easy. Cooking is the is the number one number one passion for me. I'm quitting rap, I told you, I'm coming here. You guys better give me a job. I'm not fucking playing. Oh, we will. I work. I, I work shitty. I don't care. I'll start from the bottom. 
No, I don't think you have to start as a potato peeler. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it though. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm not too proud. <laughs> can't be proud in a kitchen. No, you can't. I've been, I've been, felt, I've felt less than a man many times in the kitchen. <laughs> when your head chef screams at you and you can't really say anything because you need your job, <laughs> you know. We used to go to the record stores and it didn't matter who it was. You buy all the rap tapes, you buy every single one of them. But my idols pretty much were growing up were like Cool G Rap, Wu Tang, and Nas, AZ, stuff like that. Even earlier than that, NWA was like the first tape that I ever bought. Uh, pretty much that's how it goes. A little slow, sorry. It's all right. I'm on drugs. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Not any hard ones, just weed. I would explain my music as more like a modern classic. It's just, you know, it's nothing reinvented. It's just modernized and, you know, made a little bit more special. Obviously, that is. Oh, that's my boo. I'll later. So yeah, she just sent me a naked picture. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a it was a sext email. What would that, what would that be called? A she mail. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's not a she mail. Thank God. Don't ask me questions like that, woman. Fried veal brains and uh, lamb sweetbreads. Fried. This is what I've been looking forward to. Like a hand, I fucking check the steel. Take aim and I can apple off your head. And I'm a brain. When I say give me brain, I don't mean suck my dick, I mean give me fucking brain. The bag of money's coming with me, motherfucker. Well, the weirdest thing I've ever eaten was duck testicles. Delicious, though. Gotta be honest. I love some fucking duck nuts. They're so good. <laughs> they're small. Like, they're like baby nuts. Like an acorn. Like 13 nuts. In a taco. Like a duck nut burrito. It tastes like very, very, very concentrated duck. You know? Like, exact, like the life of a duck. Exactly. <laughs> I, I know the duck's entire story, how it grew up, what it was doing. <laughs> I'll stay here all day, all night. I'm gonna have a heart attack. The bag of money's coming with me, motherfucker. Coming with us. Wings, kid. The bag of money's coming with me. We're doing some heavy duty eating. You're not going to be able to sing tonight. Oh, I'm going to sing like I've never sang before. <laughs> I'm going to sing like a bird. It's going to be perfect, believe me. I dropped out of high school. I dropped out of culinary school, which I had to pay for. So it's not really dropping out. It's pretty much fucking myself over because I still owe money to them. You only learn so much in school. You learn the technique, and then you have to go into the restaurant and, and you know, become a chef. My daughter, me and my daughter cook. My son plays massive amounts of fucking video games. It's ridiculous. They're like two little baby geniuses. He knows how to use the computer better than I do. It's a sad thing, five years old? I'm 29 years old and he fucking already surpassed me in the computer game. Been a father for a long time, guys. When I'm alone, smoking weed, sitting by the window in my home. Often thinking, why the fuck is it I'm not in Rome? If I had a little motivation. So we put some bacon on, which is always good for you. All this. Good thing I'm not religious. 
Good thing. Oh my god. I don't think uh, he's gonna have that. Yeah, exactly. Because Italian people eat it with a knife and a fork. The devil sauce. I like that. <laughs> One appetito. That's it. <laughs> Like the refrigerator, there's no control in me. Steak and chocolate got they motherfucking hold on me. Ain't trying to be late in a box. Don't judge me. Gasoline, <laughs> you're running five miles, road to glory. Let's go. 20 more to go, make it more. Yo, you want that beat by the crotch, right? Yo, I do it. Let's go. Nobody talk to me. How can you even look at me seriously right now? Look at all the food on my face. I look like a piece of garbage. Every five minutes, look at fridges as if magic happened. Sneak a cookie, rip the bag, and fix the plastic wrapping. I don't want no one to know that I took it, cause I'm a no Hey yo, I, hey yo, I fry the mayonnaise for me, man. Life is a smorgasbord to me, and I'm a overdo it. I want to wear Italian clothing, but it just don't cut it. Not the tight that show the package with the crystal stuff.